the All Progressives Congress, the APC, says all the grievances expressed by the leader of the defunct New People's Democratic Party, that's the NPDP, are genuine and will be addressed by the party and the presidency. Absolutely. Now, leader of the group, Alhaji Kaubaraje, denied insinuations that they were planning to leave the party uh, for the opposition party, the PDP. Well, the NPDP had given a seven-day ultimatum to meet with the president after accusing the party of being unfair to its members. APC National well, Deputy National Chairman Lawan Shuaibu, who led other National Working Committee members to the meeting, said the party was taking up all issues causing disaffection seriously. If you look at that letter, <laughs> what we said was that we suggested that we attended and they called the meeting within seven days as a result of the preparation for Congress and convention. If you look at that part, they wrote a letter to us. They are party men. They have grievances. We look at the letter. Their grievances are genuine. And they said they want us, they wanted, they requested for a meeting within seven days. And before the seven days expired, I called them. And they were not ready to come. They said we should ship the meeting, which we did. So we are listening to them. We have listened to them. And we are going to take up their matters more seriously and address it. We don't ignore our people. All right, uh, very interesting developments there. Joining us from our Abuja studio is a public affairs analyst, at Aliyu Abdullahi. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting me here. Absolutely. Um, so what do you make of this uh, seeming rapprochement between the NPDP and the APC? The APC says uh, the uh, grievances of the NPDP are genuine and would do everything it takes to, um, well solve those, uh, whatever the problems are. Um, how, how does this come to you? Well, um, I think it's, it's only natural for the party, I mean, the leadership of the APC to give that kind of response because don't forget that in politics, uh, everybody is welcome and you need all the numbers you can actually have. So nobody, like I said earlier on this platform, no political party would like to see some of its members leave on any, uh, 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 for any reason. So the leadership uh, of APC, through the deputy national chairman, uh, Senator Loli Shaibu, I mean, he said the right thing politically. Like, look, we understand, we, are, we, we recognize their grievances, and, and yeah, true, quite true, some of the grievances may be, may be, may be right, but what uh, I think I found curious is some of the grievances are not against the party itself, but rather it's against the, uh, the government in power, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, uh, particularly maybe the president. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think Senator Loli Shaibu in that instance cannot speak for the president because yeah. The, the president has the mandate of all the all Nigerians, you know, to govern according to what he so ought to do. That's the constitution. So I think uh, that's a separate uh, part that uh, maybe later when the new PDP, if actually they get to meet with the president, they will have to trash that particular grievances out. But for the party, since the leadership said, we understand, we appreciate uh, you have genuine cases, you know, then it's up to the party to see how uh, they can solve those genuine grievances. It's, it's a, like, it's a, it's a family up here, so people will really get agreed for one reason or another. So, but it is uh, the leadership factor that can bring these grievances uh, uh, led to rest. Mm. Mm. Indeed, you took the words right out of my mouth uh, because uh, many have been saying that the, the grievances are leveled against uh, uh, President Buhari and uh, what can the party do if mm. the President Buhari doesn't uh, accept whatever uh, suggestions made? And that aside, uh, many would wonder really and it's quite curious to, uh, to think that the MPDP in, in the party chose this time to come out uh, to, again to identify that... Uh, it's still a group within the APC and it's not happy. Well, uh, actually, and that's my own opinion, 
I, I, I feel it's political because it's 2019 is fast approaching. So they feel like uh, there could be a number of reasons why they are coming at this time with this kind of demands and with this kind of complaints. It could be because uh, I've had different theories, which I also believe some, that maybe some members of the new PDP uh, are looking for a way out. They wanted to leave the party. So, and you know, because there are uh, some legal issues, especially for those members that are in the National Assembly, they can't just dust up and leave the platform they were elected to be on. So for that, for them to do that, they have to have uh, a, a, a basis, like a kind of faction or division within the party for them to leave. And yes, if you look at APC in various states, there are a lot of factionalization and so on. But there is a Supreme Court decision which specifically said for any division that will allow a lawmaker, a legislator to lead his party and still maintain his seat without vacating it, it has to be a division that affects the national structure of the party. Mm. So the, if there is a division at the local government or at the state level, it's not enough for a legislator to, to, to defect and also maintain his seat. If he leaves, he has to actually leave the seat. So a lot of them, they are not keen. They, are, they really don't want to leave the seat. So they are looking for something that will cause a division within the national structure of the party. So when you hear a, a, a group that is supposed to have been subsumed, submerged into a hall, that is the APC, is now saying we are still a new PDP block. I mean, come on, really? So the demaja not took place? Mm. Why, why are you still calling yourself a new PDP Absolutely. block? So it is... It, to me, that is another viable option why hmm. this thing is coming out now. And yeah. it could be because they want to negotiate some other things because of the 2019 election that is coming. People are just trying to either retain their seats or even look uh, maybe out for other favorable options. So it's all about politics. And let me say this thing again. Mm. I don't think the new PDP has, has been marginalized in the marriage or in the merger of the APC. If you look at it, in the new PDP, the Senate president comes from there, who is a number three man in the government. Mm. We have the speaker who comes from the new PDP, who is also number four in the country. Now, we have more, most of them who has contested under the platform of APC. Without the coming of APC together, some of them could not have won under the new PDP uh, 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 platform before. Some of them had contested and, and didn't win. I have, a, I have an example. There is Senator Issa Hamamiso from Bauchi State. He has contested under the PDP platform and didn't win. But now, with the APC and the Buhari factor, some of, most of them were beneficiaries of this merger and the, and the Buhari factor. And they won their elections. So what are they saying when they say we, don't, we, are, we are marginalized, we are not getting what we're supposed to get? I, I don't really get it, actually. So would you say then that this meeting between the APC and the NPDP, which is of course supposed to be part of the APC. This meeting is a tacit um, acceptance on the part of the APC that the NPDP really uh, contributed to its uh, clinching pie in 2015 and so would be ready to cede whatever ground that the NPDP is asking for. Well, let me say this. The there is no doubt that the new PDP actually contributed to the winning of the election in 2015. I mean, everybody has his own role to play and his own uh, something of value that they bring to the table. Individuals, power blocks, groups, and so on. And so are the legacy parties. So they actually brought something. There is no doubt about that. But what we are saying is, uh, if you ask me that uh, the APC said that because they want to really, uh, uh, they agreed and they want to really uh, address those issues, I think 
more of it has to do, like I said, that's a political house where you saw, where, you, where your report indicated the meeting took place. That's the APC National Headquarters. You are mm -hmm. coming to us as leadership and, and complain that we have grievances. That's the best thing we can say, that we appreciate you coming and we understand that you have genuine grievances and we will look into it. And I believe the APC National Leadership will, also, will actually look uh, into those matters. But there is a limit of what the APC uh, leadership can do. Don't mm. forget that apart from this new PDB that is coming, there are myriads of problems, you know, and issues, challenges. We have a convention coming exactly, very soon, exactly. and so on and so forth. Mm. So, but be it as it may, I think it's something that the, uh, the party will look into it, but it has to be realistic demands. It has to be something within the party's capacity that they can deliver. They can actually speak for the president in this matter. Do you think uh, those, talking uh, about uh, yeah, the, re yeah. the capacity of the party to deliver on whatever demands uh, by the MPDP remains to be seen because you will have to understand the motive first off. And like you said, the national convention is coming up uh, pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, you think the APC will come out unscathed if the MP MPDP members uh, of the party are not assuaged before then? Hello? C can you come back again? Uh. The, you talked about the National Convention, uh, the Congress of the APC coming up pretty soon. And uh, I, I asked if, if they do not meet the demands of the MPDP members before the Congress, uh, do you think that it's going to be successful? Because the leader of NPDP, uh, Kao Baraji, already said so. Well, I think uh, this is my own opinion. I think, first and foremost, with or without the new PDP uh, block, uh, APC is going to have a successful convention and uh, they would go ahead also and have a successful primaries and uh, for the general election and by God's grace will win 2019 election with or without the new PDP. But having said that, it's only good, it's, all, it's, it's only good to have the more, they say the more, the merrier in politics. So if those grievances, uh, the, those genuine ones, those ones that are, not, that are, with, that are, that are actually uh, uh, things that can be sort, so, sorted out, if they can be sorted out and these guys can remain within the party, and that's good. Even, don't forget, even within the new PDP faction, there is another faction that has come out and dissociated themselves yeah. from that mm -hmm. letter mm -hmm. the that MPDP. the Kao Baraje faction wrote. Yes. Yes. So from there, you can see how things uh, have started to turn out within even the new PDP block. So uh, I don't think it's going to affect the fortunes of, the, of, of APC during the convention or even during the election at the end of All the day. Right. It Nigerians remains to be seen, seen but yeah. we would love how to this have will turn we would love to, out. We would yes. love to continue to have Nigerians are watching anyway. Ali Abdullahi, uh, public affairs analyst, thank you very much for your time on the show.